The namesake blockbuster release may be hitting theaters on June 1st, but today, several female officers from various branches of law enforcement competed in the second annual Wonder Woman Challenge. It is two days of grueling activities meant to test the mettle of each participant, at the end of which a single athlete, as well as a respective team to which she belongs, will be recognized for physical endurance. This is the second year we're doing it. Um, it originated from the women of the Coast Guard wanting to do their own competition. So we brainstormed different ideas and we came up with a two-day event. Uh, we extended it to police and the Belize Defense Force last year, but it ended up being a fully Coast Guard run event. But this year we got Belize Defense Force to send in two teams. And so it's two teams from the Defense Force and two teams from the Belize Coast Guard. What are some of the activities and challenges being undertaken here over the next two days? Uh, we just completed our six mile relay and it was um, pretty much each, there was four females, each, one from each team at one mile marks and uh, whoever came in first won. The idea of the competition is to promote teamwork as well as sportsmanship. It is also meant to encourage the recruitment of women in law enforcement. This afternoon we have an evolution called the Run Swim Run which is a one mile run followed by a one mile ocean swim. Completing the evolution would be another one mile run. And tomorrow it is um, the Coast Guard medley, which is four laps and each lap has a different weight or obstacle that each team needs to carry throughout the entire lap. And in the afternoon, it's the obstacle course. And so far as the performance since the beginning of this challenge, what are we looking at? Definitely very competitive. The teams are very close in time and, and everyone is putting in, you know, 110%. The, the, as it stands right now, um, we'll go into the next event um, in the order as to pretty much whoever came in last will start this afternoon and whoever came in first just now will go, go last. Um, but it's definitely different for every individual and every team. We all have our different strengths and our weaknesses, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. What will be the recognition for those either teams or individuals who excel in this two-day challenge? We have, following this, we won't do it tomorrow, but we'll have a, our separate award ceremony where we'll have our, our medals for our first, second, and, and third place, and we've been getting different prizes from the different sponsors and different people that we work with, particularly. Um, Venice, Tropicare, Belize Bank, Atlantic Bank, um, our minister, the Honorable John Saldiver. So we are compiling all that we can when it comes to prizes, and then we'll split it up to first, second, and third, along with the medals. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.